Hong Kong. It's super hot and humid outside, so I thought it would be the perfect day to do a natural, glowy summer makeup look. So this makeup look is all about glowy, natural skin. There's no foundation, and then kind of soft, slightly smoky eyes. So if you want to see how I did this makeup look, then just keep on watching. But before we get into that portion of the video, I wanted to thank Moody Lenses for sponsoring this portion of the video. So currently Moody Lenses offers more than 200 different styles of contact lenses. They range from more natural looking contacts that are great for daily wear to more fun enlarging colored contacts that are great for weekends or going out or shooting content. The contacts come in different disposable forms including daily, monthly, quarterly, half yearly, and yearly lenses. They come in non-prescription and prescription from 0 to minus 8 degrees and they are manufactured by the world's leading manufacturer Pegavision. So they did send me a bunch of contacts lenses and I thought that I would show you guys a few of the lenses that they sent me I actually picked them out myself um, and we're gonna choose the perfect lenses to go with this makeup look that I will be wearing for the rest of the day so yeah I'm going to try on a bunch of the lenses and then choose the ones that I think would suit the makeup look best so the first pair of lenses that I want to try out is called Cold Brew Brown. So this is a pair of monthly disposable brown lenses. So this lens is very similar to the natural color of my eyes. So it almost looks like I don't have contact lenses in. However, as you can see in the comparison, it really enlarges the size of my eye and gives it more of like a rounder, more dolly look. And the eye with the contact lens in definitely pops a little bit more than the side without. And this is what it looks like with the, both the lenses in. And because they don't really change the color of my eye, it almost looks like I don't have contact lenses in. It's super natural. I really love the way that these look so far. And also, I just want to mention that the contacts feel super comfortable right now. It pretty much feels like I have nothing in. And I forgot to mention earlier that the cold brew oolong lenses are also available in a half yearly disposable. This particular one is part of the Moody collection, which are their monthly collection. The next pair of lenses I want to try are the Gemini Blues lenses, and this is part of their Cosmo Disco collection. These lenses are daily lenses. They come in this box of 10 pieces, which is 5 pairs. So this is what the Gemini Blues lens looks like on the eye and they really do work to brighten the eye and really add that pop of color. They kind of make your eyes look a little twinkly and glittery because the lens design itself has little tiny diamonds on the inside. So here's what it looks like with both lenses in. The next pair of lenses are the springtime lenses from the He Doesn't Know Moody Classic Collection. So here's what it looks like with one lens in. So these lenses are another pair of more natural lenses. The color and pattern are quite subtle. This is part of their classic collection and actually the color has little hints of pink inside. So I would say these lenses are suitable for more of a daily lens because the color is very very natural. And I think I forgot to mention that these are also a daily contact lens. So the next pair of lenses I wanted to show you guys are called Cup of Tea from the He Doesn't Know collection. These are daily lenses and it comes in a box of 10 pieces. So this is what it looks like with both of the contacts in. The He Doesn't Know collection gives a really subtle hint of color while enlarging and making the eyes stand out a little bit more. So the next pair of lenses I want to try are yearly disposable lenses. These ones are called Donut Brown. So this is the Donut Brown lenses. They are part of the Moody Classics collection, which are their collection of contact lenses that have a wide range of rich and vibrant colors. Obviously, this one is the brown pair. So I have decided that for today's look, I'm gonna go with the Cold Brew Oolong lenses. I just think that they are so natural and perfect for daily wear and yeah, I think it looks great with this makeup look. And if you are interested in checking out the Moody lenses, then I will have them linked in the description 
you'll buy down below. I'll also have a coupon code for you guys that I'll put on the screen here as well as in the description bar. And I do think it's worthwhile to check out the Moody Lenses site and kind of explore their different collections. I think it's really special that all of their products and collections have unique concepts and they do tell different stories. So yeah, do check that out. Again, their website will be down in the description bar. So yeah, let's get on with the rest of the Get Ready With Me for this makeup look. So starting off my makeup, I'm just going to prep my lips by putting on lip balm. This is a must for me every single morning. I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter and this is just a little sample size that I got but I've been loving it lately for the summertime. It just makes my makeup look super glowy and sets a really good base for the makeup on top. And I'm just blending that out with my Real Techniques brush that I use in every single video. Next, I'm throwing it back with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I think this is like the second lightest shade, but I was browsing the drugstore the other day and I randomly saw this product and I was like, wait, I remember loving this so much back when I was in like high school. So I decided to pick it up and I have no regrets. Like this concealer is so good. I'm just putting it down my T-zone underneath my eyes. You know the usual. I'm wiping it off my lips so that it doesn't dry it out. And then I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. I love this product so much. I'm not going too heavy with it today because we are going for a more natural look. And I'm just blending that out with my Real Techniques brush. Basically all of my cream products, I will use this brush to blend it out. So yeah, I'll be putting it to work. Checking to make sure the skin is looking good and everything is blended. And then I'm going in with my Fui blush. I'll have the shade on the screen because I can't remember it right now. But I just take my fingers, this is like a cream blush and it's got kind of like an orangey warm undertone. It's so cute. I actually have never tried an orange undertone blush until this one and I love it. So I'm putting that on the tops of my cheeks. What do you call it? Oh, the apples of my cheeks and on my nose. Going in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder. And I only use this to set my eyebrows to prep it for my brow pomade, which you guys know I love. I use it in every single makeup look. It's just that nothing gives me the same effect as a pomade. I don't know why. I've tried other methods and I just can't get used to them. Like this one is just the method for me. I fill them in as usual and continuously blend it out so that we don't have any harsh lines. And then I'm going in with my NYX bronzer and I'm just placing that on my eyelids to add a little bit of depth to my eyes. And then of course you can't forget the under eyes. Next I'm taking my Naked Basics 2 palette. Again, you know I love this. I've been using a lot of the same makeup guys in my recent videos because this is just the makeup that I'm traveling with. And I do not have the space to be buying a bunch of new makeup, so yeah, I've basically been traveling with the same makeup for about six months. But soon, I'll be switching it up because I'm returning to my hometown. And anyways, I just contoured my nose with that, and I'm taking my favorite Dior Backstage Glow Blush and just putting that on top of the blush that we used earlier. I'm taking my MAC highlighter. This is my favorite highlighter ever. It's so, so flattering. It's like this champagne color. And do you see the way that it just emphasizes the tip of my nose? So I just apply that on my brow bone and on my cheeks and of course on the nose. I feel like highlighter just gives me so much dimension on my face. 
that's why I love it so much and now I'm adding some fake freckles this is my eyebrow brush I'm just dipping that in my eyeshadow and putting some fake freckles on but I don't think you can really see it in the video curling my lashes and then applying some mascara this is the L'Oreal telescopic in waterproof I always get waterproof because my lashes are straight and they won't stay curled otherwise Now I'm just using a really fine brush and dipping it in the darkest shade there and I'm just going to start doing a little shadow wing and using eyeshadow for the wing just makes it so much more of a softer look compared to when you use like liquid eyeliner and this just really elongates my eyes and makes them pop I'm taking the same shadow on the same brush and I'm just going to add that um, onto my bottom lash line as well. I'm kind of focusing it on my bottom waterline here and mainly adding it to the inner corners so I do drag it out a little bit further past the middle of my eye, if that makes sense. Now moving on to lashes, I'm using a pretty natural pair for my standards. Popping them on and just kind of pushing up the outer corner so that it kind of gives me like more of a cat eye effect. And these are just some lashes that I picked up from Don Don Donkey in Hong Kong. I'm going in with my eyeliner. I'm using my e.l.f. liquid liner, of course. And I'm just actually lining my waterline with it and extending it a tiny bit into the outer wing. Going in with this dark brown shadow, I'm going to go ahead and start emphasizing the fold of my eye. I don't want to call this my crease because I'm not sure if that's the crease, but yeah, it's like my eyelid fold. And then I'm going to go back in with the MAC highlighter and then just pop that onto my inner corners. This kind of just brightens up the eyes. And then going in with my NYX Nude Truffle Lip Liner, my favorite lip liner of all time. I literally wear this lip liner every single day. And then I'm popping on some clear gloss. This one is from Peri Para. And this gloss is so good. It's so juicy and it smells like candy. And do you see that just makes my lips look so plump and juicy. I love this lip combo. Now I'm just popping in some earrings and I was really struggling to do this. I don't know why I'm always struggling to pop my earrings in. I feel like my ear holes are like not straight. <laughs> and that is the finished makeup look. So that wraps up this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed. As per usual, you can leave a comment down below to let me know what you want to see next. And I'll see you next time.